soon. I want to welcome us again to this uh, very of notes. I'm glad that uh, such a thing took place. I think this should be the first time since my membership of NMGS, and it will be a very good one, and also for other events subsequently to come. Once more, we welcome you on board, and we hope that we have a lovely evening. Thank you. All right, thank you. So I'll just flip over our agenda very quickly so that you can be carried along in what we'll be doing. I'd like to call on Okaima Okaisabo to give us the opening prayer as we commence this event. Okay. Um, thank you, Tubosu. Good evening, Sal Ma, and all our distinguished colleagues again. I would like us to please um, recite the second stanza of the national anthem as our prayers this evening. One, two, go. Oh God of creation. I read Thank you very much, Okaibo. Uh, Okaima is the Executive Secretary of NMGS, uh, and I would like to be doing the introduction. So when you, when I call you all, please give an opportunity to also introduce yourself uh, before you then commence to do your activity. Our opening remarks today will be done by Professor Inse, who is the Vice Chancellor at Kwaibom State University. In bringing Professor Inse to this, uh, position, it was most importantly because beyond him being the vice chancellor where Professor Peters was, he was a student of Professor Peters himself. So we recognize that this death meant more to him than just losing a successor. It was that he was losing a teacher, he was losing a confidant, and he was losing much more than a brother or a uh, older colleague. So it's on that note, I'd like to welcome Professor Inse to come give us the opening remark as we open this night of tributes on behalf of Professor S.W. Peters. Start on the call. So can you confirm if Prof has joined us already? He has not joined. He hasn't joined. Okay. Um, can you unmute your phone? I think Prof is in the room, is okay. a, a part of the attendees. Who says yeah. here? So maybe you can move him to a uh, panelist. Move him as a panelist. Maybe he's moving as a panelist. Yeah, Professor Anse is in the panelist. He's, he's in the attendees. Right. The so we will actually wait for him to give his opening remark. I expect that it will take probably some very few minutes to add him on to the panelists. If you're just joining us, welcome and good evening once again. This evening's event is in honor of Professor S.W. Peters, who is much more than just an industry icon. <clears throat> he has a personal relationship with most of us on this call. And importantly, he has contributed a lot to the geoscience community within and outside of the chores of Nigeria. And it is for this reason 
that the two organizations, NAPE and NMGS, have decided to collaborate to honor his memory. We have, essentially, we have moved further along into the event, and we are waiting on Professor Inse to give us the opening remark, and that will just take some very few minutes. Sunday, have you moved him? I've moved him. Watch. So when, once you're in. Okay, so what I, while, while we are waiting for Prof, I'm going to just move this a bit so that we'll commence the event. I would like that we uh, take our one minute silence because that's essentially what we are doing ahead of having Prof open the event. So I'd like to call on Dr. Ignatius Equerry to lead us in the one minute silence on behalf of Prof. Uh, I think Prof is here. Professor Shen is here. Oh, Prof, you're here now, great. Mm. You want to open? Can we see your video, please? Will they see me? No, but I don't want them to see me. It's on mute if you are, uh, sorry, mute your video, please. Okay, mute it. All right, Prof, we're ready for you when you are. I've been promoting Prof to a panelist, but it's like he's not moving, but he can. And go ahead and talk and talk, sir. That's, that's that'll be oh, go ahead. I think maybe Professor Unsen is having some issues with his network. I've been promoting him to a panelist, he's not moving. Doctor, Doctor Curie, can you please lead us on the one minute silence, please? Good evening, all. Okay. Would you respect to the president here present on the on the platform, and would you respect to the family of the deceased? May we all rise and observe a one minute silence in honor of an icon, Professor Sunday Williamson Peters fellow of NAPE, a fellow of NMGS, a fellow of the Academy of Science, and a recipient of the Merit Award from Arect Adams. Please, may we observe a one-minute silence. May the brilliant soul of Professor Sunday Williamson Peters rest in perfect peace. Can I hear an amen? Amen. amen. Thank you very much, Dr. Ekperi. Uh, Prof, can you unmute your microphone and speak? Can you confirm that you can do that? Maybe very chat. Let's know how we can help you in case you're having technical issues with uh, the device or maybe the network. Okay, I'm just going to call, roll along quickly uh, while we hear for Prof. I'm going to invite our two presidents. Can we, can we slow down the music? Uh, yes, thank you. Right, so our next item is actually to invite our president, uh, 
the president of NMGS and the president of NAPE. And I'd like to hand over to Prosper to moderate that part. Thank you very much, Tlubosu. Uh, it's our pleasure to welcome the two current presidents, both of NMGS and NAPE. I'm seeing past president like uh, my father, Dr. Matthew Fodele, FNMGS. I'm seeing Dr. Stella Mare Shoniga. I welcome him on board. But for this purpose now, we want to call on the two presidents to give us an opener. So we start with the president of uh, NAPE, Patricia Ochongo. Thank you very much. Yeah, good evening, everyone. Uh, welcome to this uh, occasion uh, where we have uh, gathered uh, to pay tribute and honor our fallen comrade, uh, Professor S.W. Peters. He was a member of NAPE in deed and in truth. He contributed significantly to the teaching and learning of geosciences, both in Nigeria and outside Nigeria, as well as to the practice of this science. And so uh, we, we recognize uh, the giant footprints he has left on the sands of geoscience community. And uh, we pray that God would, uh, in his infinite mercy, uh, comfort the family and all the community. You are very welcome. I turn this over to uh, Mr. Charles Alamo, President of NMG. So, Alamo, so we are seeing it just over to you, sir, our President of all Presidents. Alamo, you can unmute yourself. You are muted. That's what, that's what, I'm, that's what I'm doing. Right. Um, let me bring greetings to everyone in the house. And first start by thanking Patricia for knocking this out. Um, a few days ago, she called me and put this idea to me. And of course, I got into it and we started putting this team together. And only a few days later, we're having this meeting, uh, this um, evening of tributes for our, our departed marriage. I thank every member of the team that has worked so assiduously to make this day uh, a success. I have a very short tribute, and I, I pray that you permit me to, to read it. Um, ordinary, I should have shared it, but it's uh, just, I think, a page or so. Uh, tribute to Professor S.W. Peters, FNMGS, FNAP, FAS. On behalf of the Nigeria Mining and Science Society, I most sincerely express my condolences to the entire Peters family on the passing away of their father, Professor S. W. Peters. Professor Peters was an erudite scholar, a quintessential researcher, a prolific writer, and a voracious reader. With a BSc degree in geology from the Prestigious North University of Ibadan in 1969, and then an NPhil and a PhD degree from Rutgers the State University of New Jersey, USA, and still a postgraduate fellowship at the Samsonian Institution, Washington, DC, and at the University of Delaware, professor was well armed for a highly successful career in the earth sciences. Professor Peters joined NMGS early enough in his career, having been registered in 1975, and subsequently lectured into the reserve fellowship of NMGS in the year 2010 as 138th fellow of our great institution, society. He's a winner of the Shell and MGS Award for his persistent, excellent contributions to mining and geosciences in Africa. He made a success of an outstanding career in the academia and the petroleum sector within Nigeria and internationally, with several laurels and awards to his name. Professor Peters is also a fellow of the Nigeria Academy of Science, fellow Third World Academy of Science, Fellow Institute of Advanced Study, Berlin, Germany, and a fellow of the Sintonian Institute, Washington, DC. He was also an American Chemical Society Petroleum Research Fund Scholar, Rutgers University, New Jersey Grand Awardee, and a beneficiary of the American Embassy Lagos Educational Travel Grant. Also, of particular interest is his effort in other fields beyond science, 
including numerous articles and papers on public policy and social economy. This became evident in recognition as a John F. Kennedy scholar at the University of Berlin after he won the first prize at the National Essay Competition organized in Nigeria by the American Embassy. It's resolved an audacity to think big in terms of health sciences, resources, development, providing fundamental contributions in the establishment of key structures being enjoyed in the field of geosciences today. Professor has written and edited 10 books, including Regional Geology of Africa, published by Springer's Valak Germany, and also authored over 150 articles. We are supervised over 10,000, 10 PhD holders and 25 master's degrees involving Nigerians and Cameroonians. For his standing Joe's scientific research spanning over four decades, Professor Williams has been awarded numerous prizes by the petroleum industry in Nigeria. Professor Peters was a highly valuable and respected member of our profession, and the effects of his plan are already being felt here by us knowing his undeniable and patent contribution in the fields of sedimentary geology, stratigraphy, business analysis, and the petroleum analysis. His eagerness and readiness to serve led to his appointment as the vice chancellor of Akwaibong University in November 2007, and subsequently confirmed as pioneer substantive vice chancellor of university in 1st January 2010. Marshall had great and tough plans for the development and growth of the young university, which are all evident today. Professor will be greatly missed, but we are consoled that he has left in the blue marks on the sun some time, and forever recognizable stratigraphic marker of his life and service to humanity. Our thoughts and prayers are with the entire Peter's family in this difficult time. Let the memories of Professor Peter has provided us with comfort and serve us as guidance. May his Gentle soul rest in the bosom of the Lord. Amen. That's a, a short trouble for me. And I think that also ends my contribution. Over to you, the organizer, to us. Thank you, my president. So over to you now, to us. All right. Uh, I, I have some issues with turning on my video. But the next item on the agenda now is straightforward. Uh, Professor Inse has confirmed that he can hear us and is ready for us. So, Prof, the floor is yours for your opening remark. Prof, I see you. Uh, I think you have to unmute your microphone so that we can all hear you, please. So, Prof, no pressures. Uh, I'm not sure we are strangers to technological issues such as this, so, so no pressures at all. Uh, just type in the chat box, let's know, like you did when you were ready, uh, let's know what's going on so that we can be able to really help, please. So Nate, also, if you want to chat with Prof, so that he's, he's, we are sure that he's still on the call and he does not have a network outage. Yeah, please, please do that. It's okay. We'll, we'll run along very quickly. Um, while Prof is still, I mean, it's, it's such, this is technology, so I'm not even going to hold Prof to that. I, I'm, I'm feeling bad on behalf of Prof already. I know how this feels when you have to deliver an important message and this, this happens. Um, I'd like to call on Dr. Ekere Akman now to give the citation for this event. You are not you are not mu uh, muted, so you need to unmute. I I see that you started, but uh, we can't hear you. Ladies and gentlemen, please permit me to take this citation under the existing protocol. I see this as a great exceptional privilege to prevent present this brief citation of a professional icon of whose shoes latches 
I'm not worthy to unloose. Professor Peters was, among many others, numerous achievements, a recipient of the following prizes. He was Arred Adams awardee, the highest prize presented in the Nigerian Association of Petroleum Explorationists, was a fellow Nigerian Association of Petroleum Explorationist. He was a fellow Nigerian Mining and Geosciences Society, NMGS. He was a fellow of Nigerian Academy of Science, FAS. He was a fellow of the State World Academy of Sciences. Professor Peters backed Shell Nigerian Mining and Geosciences Society Award with a citation that reads for persistent, excellent contribution to mining and geosciences in Africa. Professor Peters won Texaco Nigerian Association of Petroleum Exploration State Best Paper Award in 1998. Professor Peters served on many public boards including former President Obasanjo's Presidential Policy on Advisory Committee in 1999. He was a pioneer substantive vice Chancellor of the University of Ohio State. Professor Peters got the following listings to his credit. Two of which I will list here. One, Professor Peters was an international who's who in education, third edition. He was the international directory of distinguished leadership. And he won the international who's who of intellectuals in the seventh edition. He also backed the international register of profiles, the 10th edition. He was nominated as Financial Times Who's Who in the World Oil and Gas Industry in the 10th edition. Professor Peters was Who's Who in the Nigerian Petroleum Industry. Professor Peters was an author and editor of 10 books, including the textbook on the regional geology of Africa written and published over 150 articles to his credit. Professor Peters supervised 10 PhDs and 25 master's degrees involving Nigerians and Cameroonians. Ladies and gentlemen, time will not permit me to exhaust the list, but records abound everywhere. Kindly join us to honor the life and times of Sunday Williams and Peters, a distinguished scholar and a committed geoscientist. May this brilliant soul rest in perfect peace. Thank you. Amen. Amen. Thank you. Thank you very much, Doc. Uh, what words can't really express how the two communities feel about the passing away of Professor Sunday Williamson Peters. We'd like to open it up now because that this is the reason why we are here. We want to give you the opportunity to share your heart, will, goodwill and heartfelt messages. The family are represented also here, or the family is represented also on this call. Uh, but to do it in order, I would like that you please indulge us. We will call you and then you will have time to speak. When you speak, please be mindful that the more minutes you use, the less you give for others who may want to do the same as you. So I'm putting that up here so that we just appreciate why we may have to round up the call when we feel it's getting uh, a bit long. To start this, what we did when we were planning was to really ask around and ask for, based on our contribution, who would like to speak on behalf of 
Professor Hess W. Peters. So we'll be calling on eight people first who had submitted their interest to speak and thereafter we'll open the floor. So if you like that we'll call you after, please put it in the comments or in the chat box and say, or maybe you raise your hand and we'll pick it up immediately. We are done with the confirmed eight. In no particular order, I'm just going to call representative of these two association. And I would like to start with uh, Dr. Matteo Fodile, who will be opening up this night of tributes for Professor S.W. Peters. Over to you, Doc. My president, you are. Can you unmute? I see him trying to speak, though. Um, he's on mute. He's on. He's, he's, okay, he's on mute. He's muted. He's muted. Hello. Okay. Hello. Yeah, we can hear you, sir. We can yeah, hear you, sir. sir. We can hear you, sir. You can go ahead, sir. Are you hearing me? Yes, yes sir. sir. Loud and clear, sir. Okay. Good evening. Uh, good evening. Good, good evening, evening, ladies uh, and gentlemen. Uh, my evening, name sir. is Dr. Matthew. I'm past president. Affordable. Okay. Can I go on? Can I go on? Go ahead, yes, sir. Hello? Yes, please. Yes, please. Yes, yes, please. Yes, go please. Ahead, sir. Uh, I'm sorry the network may be disappointing, but uh, we'll manage it. It is with feeling of sorrow and regret that I am here to give a tribute for a younger colleague in the profession. Professor S.W. Peters, geologist, academician, and university administrator belong to the old school of professionals in the geology profession in Nigeria. This crop of professionals made the activities of our noble profession tick in the early 1970s and 80s. I did not relate much with him socially because of the long distance that separated us. I live in Jos, northern Nigeria, and he in the south West and southeast of Nigeria and University of Calabar, and lastly, University of Uyo. He belonged to the group of paleontologists, stratigraphers, including Professor O.S. Sadegoke and Professor Cornelius Kobe, who made significant contributions to the study of paleontology and stratigraphy in Nigeria. I recall the figure of the cheerful, smart, sociable young man, always in suit at that time, spotting his characteristic goatee beard and mustache, reeling out very classic work in his area of academic presentations at almost every NMGS conference he attended in his usual stylish English accent. His specialization in paleontology and stratigraphy resonated from his conclave in the Calabar flank of the lowermost end of the Benue Trough and touching on the other sedimentary basins of the country. His work in the Calabar Frank attracted me to him most specially. His effort in establishing the transitional Albion Cinemanian zone in the stratigraphy of the region, which he named as the Awi Formation, and marking the base of the Odupani Formation in the Calabar Frank tickled me and brought us much more closely academically and opening up some collaboration between us. His Awi formation of the Calabar flank correlated very well with the Lower Benue and the Bakuleke Sub Basin, Awe formation of the Middle Benue, and the Yolde formation in the far north of the Upper Benue. His vibrant activity in the lecture room and as a field geologist started waning when he got sucked into the politics of university administration, which catapulted him into the high level position of the vice chancellor of the University of Fuyo, which for me was more of a distraction to the good work he was doing in the profession. With the death of Professor Peters, 
Nigeria has lost one of the foremost stratigraphers and paleontologists in the country. At a time, the interest in this field of study in our universities appears to be declining, despite the significance and importance of this area of study in geological exploration, viz. hydrocarbon exploration, hydrogeology, and even mineral exploration. I am sure the students will miss him. His colleagues will miss him, particularly those of us, his colleagues and collaborators in the profession will miss him. And the whole academic world will also miss him for the contribution to the development of education and the earth sciences in particular in Nigeria. I am seizing this opportunity to extend our heartfelt sympathy and condolences to the family. And may the good Lord grant them the fortitude to bear the loss. Adieu, Prof. May your soul rest in perfect peace with the Lord. Amen. Thank you Amen. very much, ladies and gentlemen. This is my humble submission in honor of this great legend of the earth sciences in Nigeria. Thank you. Thank you Thank so you, much, sir. Doc. Right. Uh, so the next person in line will be Dr. Umwaj oh gosh, I'm super sorry. <laughs> Professor C.S. Mwajide would be the next person that we will be calling to give his tributes. Prof, I see that you already have access, so just go ahead and share your uh, tributes, please. <clears throat> Prof, are you there? Can I speak now? Yes, please. Now. Um, Tubos, are you hearing me? Yes, I yeah, hear you. We are hearing you clear. live and clear. But I don't see your okay, video. Okay, but uh, Prof. Sonse wants to speak. And could I defer to him? I will come after him, please. Thank you. All right. Yes. Okay. Prof, are you on now? I think so. Can you hear He's me? On. Yes. Um, yes. Yes, we can I hear, hear you, sir. Thank you. you. Thank right. you very much. Um, I'm sorry for that disruption. Um, You're welcome, Prof. Thank you very much. I want to greet everybody. We are gathering today to commemorate the passing into eternal glory of a great earth scientist, administrator for excellence, a prolific author, and a consummate orator, Professor Sunday Williamson Peters. He passed onto eternal glory on the 20th July, 2021, after a brief illness. He has been buried in his family compound. I have worked closely with Professor Peters since 1982, when I was an undergraduate student till date. With all sense of humility, I feel greatly honored to be called upon to present a, an opening remark at this auspicious congregation of air scientists that night of tribute in honor of Professor Sunday Williamson Peters. I must thank the Nigerian Association of Petroleum Explorationists, NAPE, and the Nigerian Mining and Geosciences Society, NMGS, for organizing this get together. S.W. Peters, as he was fondly called, was appointed professor of geology at the University of Calabar in 1982, about 39 years ago. Indeed, he was the first professor of geology in Nigeria, east of the river Niger. He started his geoscience career with Shell Petroleum as an assistant paleontologist in 1969. Technically, Professor Peters has spent the last 52 years, half, more than half a century, rendering committed and selfless services for the promotion of the geoscience profession. This night of tributes organized by NAPE and NMGS is well deserved. 
Professor Peters was propelled into the wall of academics after winning first position in the prestigious JFK. Um, so Prof had a small downtime, uh, so we'll give him some minutes and then uh, we'll, we'll allow him to come back in. So while, while we are waiting, really, what I'm going to do is just display, um, because we'll not be able to take all, I'll display some of the condolence messages so you begin to read uh, what our members have actually written uh, on behalf of Prof. Uh, Prof, you are back now, for, so you can continue speaking. Yes. You are back now. Yes, please. All right. Thank you very much. You can hear me? Yes, loud please, clear. loud and clear. All right. Okay. Okay. Thank you very much. Uh, sorry. I'm sorry about that. It's a network. Mm -hmm. Professor Peters is one geoscientist who have worked in all Nigeria sedimentary business in detail. He was a meticulous researcher. While at the University of Amadou Bello University as lecturer, he has researched with other co-researchers like Professor Zaborski, Professor Equezo, and have generated enormous geologic information and data for young scientists. Also, as a lecturer in his alma mater, University of Ibadan, he carried out a pioneering and classical research in the Benin Basin. His works in the Anambra Basin, the Calabar flank, and the Niger Delta was even more profound. His pioneering and classical research works individually and with other core researchers like Professor Zaboski, Professor C.M. Equezo, Professor Mwajide, Professor Mike Oti, Professor Agago of Blessed Memory, Professor T. J. A. Reger has laid solid foundation for the younger generation of scientists. Professor Peters have published more than 200 published articles, books in the areas of micropalaeontology, sedimentology, paleoecology, and environmental geology. He was a radical academician, at times straying into unimaginable academic terrains. Professor Peter's book, The Geology of Africa, is still the most authoritative text in the African geology. 
Professor Peters was a very powerful orator in the University of Calabar, where he spent most of his later years. He was the university orator for over 20 years. Also, he was an administrator per excellence. He had been head of department, dean of faculty, chairman, chairman of many scientific committees. To crown his administrative expertise, Professor Peters was appointed the pioneer vice chancellor at Kwaibo State University, a position I am so honored to occupy now. While alive, he was the fellow. He was a fellow Nigerian Association of Petroleum Explorationist, NEPA, NAPE. He was a fellow of the Mining and Geosciences Society, NMGS. He was a fellow of the Nigerian Academy of Science, just to mention a few. We are gathered this evening to pay the last respect to this intellectual icon who fought, conquered, and stepped forward. I condole with Professor S.W. Peter's immediate family and pray to the Lord to give them the fortitude to bear the loss. I also condole with his numerous students across Nigeria and beyond who have benefited from his tutelage. Professor Sunday Williamson Peters was indeed an intellectual giant. May his soul rest in perfect peace. Amen. 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 Thank you very much for giving me this opportunity. Mm -hmm. Thank you I'm so done. much. Prof. Yeah. Thank you so much, Prof. Uh, Prosper, over to you to call, uh, bring on stage again, Professor C.S. Somajide, and then we'll proceed from there. Yeah, thank you very much. Uh, I hope you're hearing me now. Loud and clear, Prof. Very good. Um, my work with uh, uh, Professor Peters uh, started uh, quite a while ago while I was in geological survey. He felt that um, some sedimentology was required for the study of salt deposits around the com. And uh, can you share your video, oh. Prof? Um, no, I unless you want to see my. Yes, I don't have okay. video. Um, no, I don't have. Indeed, I'm saying this of the call because I had no idea I was going to speak. But uh, in any case, um, I was familiar enough with him uh, to say a few words uh, uh, as a contribution to this uh, special tribute to a great academic. And um, I started with my association with him uh, professionally, academically, and that was from when I was in geological survey and uh, in Kaduna. So he came all the way to request that I join the expo exploration uh, activity around salt and ACOM area. This would testify to his uh, diversity of his uh, academic activities as well as industrial activities. Um, I contributed my bit on that and then when Aqua Bomb State was created, he sent for me to carry out a geological survey of the place. And along with Agumano of uh, great memories and Professor Amajo, also great memories, we worked out the geology of Aqua Bomb State, which he used um, as a very major data input for the uh, regional planning, for the physical planning of the state. This will show you the diversity of his activities. He was not a man of one or two narrow parts. He was a man of very many parts. I don't need to go repeating the academic achievements, but I can state here that he was actually one of the most um, some people say restless, but he was restless in an extremely positive manner, in the sense that he contributed in many different areas. Um, now, for any job we did in the field, the academic side of it eventually came on 
after the report had been done. And that way, I had to cut out a few papers with him. Now, uh, he also wrote, of course, it's been mentioned how many different academic papers he's written. If you are counting, but if you are really counting uh, along with the newspaper columns he wrote, you will be surprised that we are discussing up to 300 different contributions. One of them in particular was his critic of the idea of dredging the Niger River. I still recall that he was of such an opinion that uh, I'm sure modified whatever plans there had been by the federal government to dredge the river. Um, it was mainly on the, based on the fact that it's so difficult to really dredge and maintain the depth, original depth intended in dredging for a very big river that is so highly, um, so full of sand. That is one side of things, the way he was writing, pure academics, publication of books, and then of course, down to newspapers. One book he wrote, which has not been very much in public view, is a 200 page book that is on the ecology and environmental uh, problems of Nigeria. Uh, from in that paper, he surveyed all the way from the Sahelian side of Nigeria down to the uh, Atlantic Ocean and discussed the ecological and environmental problems of each of these. A highly informative book on the ecology of this country. Then, of course, uh, his contributions would necessarily bring, his, bring him to great repute, attention of the administrators, of politicians. And of course, he was such a dynamic, sociable human being that there was no way he was going to be missed out in the academic scheme of things. And of course, that is the culmination we've always known about, how he worked so hard in the startup of the University of Science and Technology uh, of Aquaibom State. Now, it's such a regret that Sonny Peters died so early because many of us, um, beginning from uh, an elder statesman in geology, Professor Fodile, Dr. Fodile, and many of us are older than him, and we are still um, up and around. And for him to have been plucked off so early is such a great regret. But um, we know that we cannot go asking questions of the Almighty. At this juncture, may I wish the family great uh, uh, pity and also that the great Lord affords them the, what it takes to bear such a loss. Thank you very much for the opportunity to contribute a little bit on this great academia. Thank you very much. Thank you very much, Prof. Uh, I think I'm also seeing uh, a past president of the uh, Nigeria Mining and Just Sciences, Dr. Mrs. Maris Suniga. Please. Dr. Mrs. Suniga, the floor is open for you now. Doctor, we are speaking here. No, okay, great. Okay. Can you hear? Can you hear me? Oh. Yes. Please. Yes, mommy. All right. Uh, good evening, everybody. Good evening, um, mommy. A lot of things I wanted to say about Peter's has already been said, so I won't bore you by repeating them. <clears throat> but um, anybody who ever listened to Professor Peters deliver a paper at the conference of NAPE, for example, at the NAPE UAP Leadership Forum in 2004 at Concord Hotel Owere, or at the Uyo NAPE chapter inauguration, will agree with me that Sonny was an orator. 
And I will also say that as a lecturer in UI, we were colleagues in the biology department. And then um, you, we found that many students didn't like paleontology because of the names of the fossils. But Sonny pronounced those difficult fossil names so effortlessly with the American intonation that those names began to sound very romantic. And many students started giving the fossil names to their girlfriends and to their future daughters. So it was that Sonny molded his students of micropaleontology that was previously dreaded by many students to become their favorites. And many of them came back for postgraduate studies. He drilled his students to get the best out of them. I served with Sonny on um, STRATCOM, Stratigraphic Com Committee of Nigeria. And he was a very a great professional. He was very professional in his approach to work. We met once every three months and he was always picking on the right things to keep us on the right track. Sonny was the second uh, professor. Uh, he was the first second professor to occupy the chair of geology in University of Calabar, which was sponsored by Exxon Mobil. And I was on the committee, on the management committee. We always met once every three months in Calabar. And he kept that position going until he, he changed, I mean, until I think his, his term of office expired and he handed over to somebody else. But he kept that chair alive. And Mobile did not regret the money they invested creating that chair. There's another aspect of Sonny that I will mention. Sonny was a great family man. When I was in UI, we lived in the same block of flats. He was in flat five, I was in flat one. One night he ran to my house, to my flat and banged on the door. I came out, he said, look, Stella, you have to help. What's going on? His wife was sick, very sick. And I had to drive and he was sitting at the back holding his wife. We got to UCH. She was admitted in the emergency room. And along the road to UCH, Sonny kept saying, Hannah, you must not die. Hamna, nothing must happen to you. Why? Because he said she was his research assistant and laboratory attendant when he was a student in the US. He was, she was the one that prepared all his samples, uh, helped to prepare his slides, and he has not had the opportunity to thank her enough. So she must not depart at that time. Luckily, she survived. Another aspect of Peters was that he was a great mentor. I had a, a niece who did a school certificate and came out with six credits. And I was worried what she was going to do. She had English, she had maths. So I handed her certificate, I mean, her result to uh, Professor Peters. I said, please help me find out what this girl can study. He came back to me and said, look, in spite of the good performance, she's neither a science student nor an art student. If you are ready to spend the money, send her to go and do one year, uh, one, one year course that used to be run by ABU at Akamka. I say, I'm sure, sure I will do that because instead of graduating in four years, she will now graduate in five years. So he took up the, the case. The girl got admitted at, at, at her camp, uh, and from there she went to the University of Calabar to go and read law. And he made sure that she did not derail during the period because he was sending me regular reports. And if she needed anything, he made sure that I acted and sent it to her. He was a great mentor. And that girl has remained ever grateful to him because she was almost like a daughter to Sonny. Well, they say that. Um, 
I, I think Shakespeare said, the world is a stage and all the men and women players, they have their entrances and their exits. Sonny's exit is a great loss to Josiah's community, Akwaibom State, Cross River State, and New Nigeria as a whole. We are going to miss him because those who know him know he was a very friendly person. And I pray that his family will be able to accommodate, I will, will be able to uh, get over the shock of losing him so early in life. May Sonny Peters rest in perfect peace. Amen. 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 Thank you, Mrs. Uh, Dr. Sela Shonega. That room. I'm seeing another senior fellow, senior academician, a father I respect, and uh, a past DG of the Nigerian Geological Survey, also a fellow of the Academic of Science. I'm talking about Professor Malamo. Prof, the floor is open for you now, Professor Malamo. Thank you very much. Uh, can you hear me? Yes, you're loud and clear. Loud, loud, great, loud and clear. Thank you very much. Uh, I think I told you before. Well, um, it's very sad, of course. It's, it's a sad occasion for me and for... Let me start by, by saying I recognize the earlier speakers, most of whom are my seniors at different levels of the profession. And also a lot of colleagues who are here. I thank you. I, I, I will stand on the existing protocol, which is the formal thing, which is a normal thing to do in Nigeria speak. But I I want to talk about Professor Richard as a human being, which I think came out a lot of us of his academic work. But the human, the human angle is what I and I'm doing international angle as well. I I knew of Professor Peters. As, a, as an essayist, you know, I, Kenneth Kalashi was one of the things which I, which we did when I was at A-levels in my time. Peter, Peter, people like Peter had done about three years before. It was, I think it was the first person to win the award nationally. And it's important for people to know that at the time, in the A-level, in the final year level, you do scholarship. They say, you do it at the provincial level, you win, they go to regional level, you win. They go to national level, win. So you must have won at the, in the in this province, Oguta province or Calabar province, and then won in eastern eastern region, and then won in uh, nationally. And what's important really is that you know, at my time, it's the English people who write English and arts that win essays competitions, not the scientists. Peters bridged the gap of science and art. I can see it in his oratory because it was his eloquence in English and he's had that for years. It's not something new to, to us. I came across his name, not him. When Hello, I to USA, by the way, he had left uh, the year he, he finished in June, I uh, came in in September. But I had a picture because there was another guy who was my friend who won the year in my set. His name is Andrew Abba. And draw me a bar. Uh, great guy. Reading is read English. But Peter read geology and science. But one. And that was the interesting part. Uh, he had finished before I left, but I, I knew I heard it was his, his trail of Josensi and he was on the top of the class. Uh certainly maybe not, I'm not sure if he's top, but close to the top of the class in 69 set in New York. I went to you as well, and I was trained by the university but to go and do a PhD. But somewhere along the line, I ended up myself, find myself at IFE. And when I got to IFE, I was asked by the then Department of Psychology to come back to teach anybody. But I didn't want to go fully. So I said, look, I will teach IFE part-time, fully and the, by the part-time. So I was coming to Ibadan from IFE Thursday, Friday. I must start a few people there too. I had quite a few colleagues, friends who were in the park because I just left the park myself three, four years before. I would look for an office. It was Peter that came to me and said, Look, young man, do you have an office? That was 1977, I think. 77 November. You have an office? I said, no, I don't have an office. Okay, come and share my office. 
I was stunned because I, I didn't know him. I didn't know before. Uh, there were what was preachers that came to me and said, here in office. And I spent some time looking at you. I was I come from Ife on, on a Thursday and teach Thursday, Friday, and then go back to Ife on a Sunday. Was always asking after me. There were no GSM at the time, but he would look, up, look me up because I was staying at the staff, the guest at the UI, he looked me up in the UI. And I think that was very noble of him. But I didn't find that it was Peter's who had won the credit, which, which, which endeared me to him. But that is something I found which I took away from him. But people have talked about his work in Nigeria, uh, the work he did in, in the base in Nigeria. What I find more interesting, really, for me, was with what he did at the time science was opening up, the science was very interesting in the 70s, 60s, 70s. You know, geology was the darling of science, the open of the Atlantic, <coughs> plate tectonics, Tuzo Wilson, Buck and Dewey, a push, push, and these were just esoteric principles. So it requires scientists to go and put, if like grand truth, and confirm from fossil record what has been said about opening up the Atlantic. And Peters did a major work in that area. His work, which was published, PhD, was working. Not, not like taking America, and they came to Nigeria, and it was part of UNESCO three projects: <coughs> the IGCP on West Africa, the link between Brazil and, and West Africa, and West African biogeography itself. These are things that put the fossil record, confirm the open Atlantic. All the things we are talking about in the air were confirmed by geoscience, and, and Peter was in the thick of that. Of course, they work on Nigeria, they work on basins in Nigeria, which is, we know that open up Atlantic op opened up other basins in Nigeria. But he did work on that area. And I think that's something which is not many people, many, many, of course, in Nigeria, I mean, perhaps Prado Prado and I mean, was mentioned, have done work out within those areas. And of course, uh, Russia, in those areas, which is remarkable. And put one that, so that's the basis, I think, of his work on Africa, because he was at work in Brazil, South Africa, like Brazil, West Africa correlation. He had worked on uh, West Atlantic, he had worked on, on the American side, Latin, 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 South American side, West African side. And that work is seminal, and I think it's almost non qua non, sin qua non. Then I, Professor, I want you to mention something important, which was the ecology. Prof, please, I'll be rounding you up in some few minutes so that I can okay. give time. Two minutes, two minutes, two minutes, two minutes. Two minutes. Thank I you. just came out of the Commonwealth Secretariat where I was, in, where I was working on climate change and all that. And Peter's work struck me in the face and said, wow, the ecology, all the things we are talking about now, about changing the environment, climate change, is what Peter did before. Thank you very much. I, I pray that God support his family. Thank you. Uh, Prof, I, you. I hope you understand that, that I didn't okay? mean to support you. I just wanted to give more people opportunity. So I, I meant that in a good way. Because uh, okay. we have a couple of hands up. So please, my apologies, indeed. Uh, no, no, I would like to... Uh, uh, two more, two more, two. Yes, please. Please, let's call the next person, the, the immediate right. past uh, VC of uh, University of Ibadan, Professor Ebe Ideu Olanika, FNMGS. All right, Prof, are you available? Great, yeah. Yes, I'm available. I thank you, the moderator. I recognize the president of FNMGS and president of FNAPI, and I'd like to adopt the uh, protocol that has been well established. I think it's a pleasure for me to be here this evening to pay tribute to someone I first came across in the 1977 when I came to the University of Ibadan. I think it was then a senior lecturer. Of course, we didn't like him because it used to make life difficult for us. He would give us so many references after each uh, lecture. And like I wrote uh, in the chat box, he said, do you think you can pass this course without going to the library with his uh, American uh, accent? Of course, the gap between him and us was extremely very wide. So when uh, no sooner had we left University of Ibadan that uh, he himself had to relocate to Calabar following his appointment as a professor. So we were very excited. 
that uh, our former teacher had now been appointed the uh, professor. I think as of that time, there were only two professors in the department, Professor um, Fayoshi and Professor Ladi. He would have been the third, but he didn't wait. He left for Calabar flank. And uh, later when I became a lecturer in the university, at the University of Baden, I think our paths crossed. Anytime we went to Calabar for NMGS conference, he always invite us to his uh, accommodation. And when I was dean of the postgraduate school at Ibadan, they invited me to Calabar. Then he gave uh, a welcome address. His own welcome address was even longer than my own uh, speech. And I was supposed to be the main speaker. It's published. And later, he started encouraging me that uh, one, someday I should, should become the vice chancellor of the University of Ibadan. And I'm happy that came to pass. And again, like I mentioned in the chat box, when uh, I think I was deputy vice chancellor that time, he insisted that I should be the external examiner for the BSc geology program at Akpai Bom State uh, University. Of course, we referred to him. I mean, he was old enough to be my father anyway. And uh, he took me as a protege and as a mentee, having been my teacher. So I think it was well deserved. So we're really very proud of him. And so it came as a shock when we learned of his uh, passing. Of course, I've not heard from him for maybe over a year now. And like I also mentioned a few years ago, he was applying for one particular national award and he said I should write a reference letter for him. So I was wondering how can a student write a, a reference letter for his extremely famous teacher? But that was uh, Peter's for you. I'm very happy about what people have said about him. I mean, like uh, Dr. Shonuga as to his humanity and my elder brother, Professor Shinama Lomo, FNMGS, also different aspects of him. I think it was the Colossus. We're really very proud of him. I also saw the tribute by Professor Ekozo and others. So I thank you for the opportunity. I know other people will still like to talk. So we commiserate with his uh, family and uh, all his friends and associates and those of us who are also his students at uh, ABU Ibadan and uh, Calabar. Thank you. Thank you. So Tobo, so over to you. All right, thank you, Prof. Uh, I'd like to call now in no particular order, Professor Nton. It's your turn to give your tribute, please. Good evening, all. Hello. Good evening. Uh, good evening. Good evening. Good evening. We can hear you, we hear you loud and Good time. evening, Prof. Yes, we are hearing you. Okay. I want to thank uh, the organizers for giving me this opportunity to render a tribute to my teacher. I captioned a tribute in honor of my teacher, led Professor S.W. Peters, fellow NAPE, fellow NMGS, fellow Nigerian Academy of Sciences, by myself, Professor Matthew Newton. The late Professor S.W. Peters was a pioneer professor and head of geology at the University of Calabar, having been appointed from the University of Ibarra in the early 80s. As a student then at the University of Calabar, it was dignified having a Nigerian professor of geology who took over from the whites who then held such positions in acting capacity. Apart from his trainings and fellowship outside the shores of Nigeria, he had served in many Nigerian universities such as ABU Zaria, University of Ibadan, University of Calabar, and later as vice chancellor of Akwaibom State University. At the University of Calabar, he served as Dean of Science and Chairman Committee of Deans, Dean of Graduate School and the University Orator, among others. He was diligent, firm, courageous, and disciplined, and oftentimes misunderstood by many of his contemporaries. To some of his colleagues, he was described as being very tough and unbending, while others found him as their arbitrator in tough issues that needed some powerful interventions. He was student friendly and was always attending student seminar, field excursions and strengthening the Student Geological Association with lots of activities inculcated in us the mental awareness that geology is a noble profession. He was a researcher par excellence, a celebrated scholar and biostratigrapher who published extensively. James Hilton, 1726 to 1792, who, was, who formulated the principle of uniformitarianism was described as a Scottish, Scottish medical man, gentleman, farmer, and geologist. I am not sure Hilton had degrees in all these three disciplines, but passion as a geologist drove him around. My late teacher and erudite scholar, former vice chancellor of Akwaibom State University, fellow NAPE, fellow NMGS, fellow Nigerian Academy of Science, the Adams recipient, 
Mobile NNPC Professor Chair of Petroleum Geology, 1969 alumnus of Geology Department UI, the late Professor Sunday Williamson Peters can be likened to James Hutton of our time. He was a newspaper columnist Hello, who contributed on diverse issues, including political discussion. In soft rock geology, most fieldwork controversies were redefined in many of his writings and publications. Apart from the known award-winning text, Regional Geology of Africa, he published over 160 articles and several commissioned technical reports for oil and gas industry. The 1965 J.F. Kennedy Scholar Awardee at high school also published with other authors books such as Nigeria, A People United, A Future Assured, A Survey of State, Natural and Man-Made Hazards, Acquired Home State Physical Background, soils and land use and ecological problems. Knowledge for service, the University of Calabar, 1975 to 2002, and lots more. As vice chancellor, he still created time to attend and presented a keynote paper at the NAPE UAP 2014 Students Conference hosted by the University of Portacot. At that time, I was the editor in chief of NAPE. The presentation was insightful and he showcased many of the infrastructural development of his university. In January, 2020, I spent more than two hours with him in his office at the geology department, University of Calabar, where I returned for a sabbatical appointment. We had some deep discussions and rip cracking jokes. I, I recall many of his achievements in those years and tried to find out the secret of such feats he projected the next phase of his agenda. I could realize that this man's dreams were endless. In the course of our discussion, there was a form he wanted me to endorse for him, but I politely declined. I instead suggested to him to put a call through to the immediate past vice chancellor of the University of Ibaran, my teacher and colleague, and his former student, Professor Ebeli Dowu Olainka, F. Nape, who quickly obliged and endorsed the form. Let Professor S.W. Peters was also very religious. In most of the staff meetings at Unica, whenever he was chance to attend, he would always be leading choruses. He also served as advisor to the government of Akwaibom State. He lived a fulfilled life and he has left behind legacies for the geological world, the Nigerian university system, the oil and gas industry and the immediate and its immediate community. Finally, in the words of Thomas Campbell, to live in hearts we live behind is not to die. May his gentle soul continue to rest in peace. And may the good Lord comfort his family. Thanks Amen. for this opportunity. Thank you very much. Okay, you want me to go? Okay, uh, the next person on our list is Dr. Lai Fatono. Doc, please, the floor is yours. Can you hear us, Doc? Okay, while I'm bringing up Doc, I would like to bring up Dr. Ari uh, very quickly to give his tribute speech. Dr. Harry, please uh, unmute and let's hear you. Hello, good evening, and thank you very much um, to for this great opportunity. I stand PS. Um, I, I am very privileged to have been associated with Professor S.W. Peters because what I'm saying so is that I was the last person that is supervised um, a PhD work. Would so you like I've, to share your video, Doctor? Okay. Would you like to sh share your video? Okay. I believe that uh, you can see me now. Yes. Uh, so um, Professor Peters was more like a father to me. He was the one that inspired me into geology department in the University of Calabar. He supervised my first degree 
and my second degree, as well as my PhD. Like I said, it was the, the, I was the last student that is revised. And uh, working with him, I saw that he was very passionate, you know, a great man, you know, so supportive. He would go all the way to look for all my materials for me, all the materials I worked with, and he spent time one-on-one -on -one with me, even in the field. He was a father to me. He would call me up to the house and then mentor me throughout all the processes, you know. And I, I believe that um, I have taken a bit of him, you know, especially in the area of micropalaeontology and palynology, because I work very closely with him. So I want to thank God for his life. He was not just a scholar, he was very spiritual and he was very caring. He, he loved the student. There was no time when I was the, uh, I was, uh, the student advisor that anything had to do with students that I was not involved in, including sponsoring of field work, sponsoring of um, all kinds of meetings, conferences for students. He, he was never, never lacking behind in all of that. Professor Peters was a great vice chancellor. You know, when I met him, when I came into Akwaibu State University, you know, he, he mentored no one. Uh, everyone loved him, even though, like um, uh, our dear professor said, some people found him to be very hard in terms of decisions in some cases. But I tell you, everything that he did was for the interest of the university. Without him, we would not be where we are now. And geology wouldn't have even been established in that university if he was not there. So he's such a great man, a, a family man. There was a time, you know, I was talking with him and there's ad one advice he gave to me, which I can never forget. That advice was that when I have an opportunity, I should give it the best shot. And that has stuck with me all over the, all through the years. Every time I have an opportunity, to write a proposal or opportunity for an interview for anything, I always give it the best shot. So on behalf of my family, on behalf of my department, Department of Geology at Carbon State University, where I'm currently the head, I want to you know, wish that his soul will rest in perfect peace. And um, I also want to pray that God will grant the family to bear this irreparable loss. We love him so much, and we thank God for all he's done for sciences all over the world. Thank you so much for this opportunity. May the Lord bless his soul. Thank you. Thank you very much. I'm seeing Professor Mike O.T. Wow. Professor Mike O.T. Professor Mike O.T. Professor yes. Mike O.T. Yeah. yeah. Good evening, everyone. Yeah. Good evening. Good evening, Prof. Yeah. Good evening, just, Prof. Boys. Yeah. Good evening. Thank you for letting voice to this on behalf of my very good friend, Philip. Uh, uh, what a loss, really. What, what a loss. Uh, I'm still very saddened, you know, who had been my very dear friend since 1982 when I uh, uh, um, Nigeria sedimentary geology. Um, we some um, uh, people myself, uh, that we share uh, an interest in attention to carbonates at the time, in the early 80s. Um, so, um, Host carbonate workshop in color. And then, um, so um, he invited uh, Rodgers, uh, my uh, a few others were also. Uh, 
can you hear me? Let me just check the microphone. Maybe. Prof, can you please hear us? Confirm if you can. Your network static is really poor. No, I'm not sure Prof can hear us. Prof, was can you hear him? And he's uh, back online now. The network is poor from its end. Network is really poor, Prof. Okay, uh, can we go? Uh, so can we go? I'm seeing Professor Chukwe Meka was online. I think Prof is still trying to speak, so we need to let him know. Uh, yeah, great. So you're back on our Prof is completely off. So Professor Equezo, uh, would you like to say a few words uh, on the? Prof, can you hear us? Prof, I close all your online. Okay, while we are waiting for Prof, uh, I would like to also open the floor. We had a couple of people who raised up their hand and so as not to delay this a bit further. I'd like to call on, and please apologize. I'm apologizing ahead in case I don't put the right affiliation like professor or doctor ahead of your name. Uh, I saw a hand, a young Asian. I think that was prof, Professor Inse, so I'm going to skip that. Please confirm that it's a different person or not. Uh, then I saw a your echoes. Uh, if you would like to speak, the floor is yours now, please. Okay, maybe if the person has been locked well, down. With, uh, uh, soon. Yes, please. I saw a foreign hand like Jackie, one Jackie Honor. I think maybe that may be a foreign some. Can we call on Jackie? I don't see a Jackie on the call anymore. Hello, is, is Jackson? Oh, Christopher Jackson. Oh, come on, Prosper. Okay. All right, so Dr. Jackson, it's over to you now. Hey, good evening, everyone. It's uh, really a pleasure to be a part of this uh, tribute. And uh, I, I don't know, I feel so emotional. Uh, it, it's uh, uh, how should I put it? I should be weeping. Then it is well. Uh, with due respect to uh, all our elderly ones and all protocols duly observed, uh, I want to uh, give a very brief tribute of S.W. Peters. And uh, a lot has been said, and uh, I was one of the students of S.W. Peters in the University Alaba, he was uh, a very wonderful and highly respected lecturer, Professor Ross. Then uh, I know a lot of people have said so many wonderful things about him, but then uh, very unique about uh, Professor Peters is that we were students those days, and uh, I, I will uh, let us know that any student in the University of Calabar those days who use Professor Peters as a role model. He's a kind of lecturer that you will feel, oh my God, in my career, if I am like him, then I'm it. Those days, he will come to class uh, with uh, his uh, American accent. Other lecturers may lecture and people will make noise, but whenever he's in the class, you will imagine the rap attention. Everybody wants to listen to him. Even those that are listening to uh, the lecture and those that just wants to appreciate the personality of Professor Peters. He's, uh, it's really a loss to me because uh, I want to just uh, tell us the first time I even heard about NAPE, Nigerian Association of Petroleum Explorationists, 
was in his mouth in a forum in a 200 level those days. You know, he told us, started the uh, um, uh, chapter and sponsored a whole lot of students, registered us as student members, signed for us, encouraged everyone. It's really a huge loss to hear that uh, Professor Peters is no more. I appreciate him a lot. I really miss him. And, you know, from the student folk those days and uh, our old students, we've been trying to discuss the demise. Some people are not even aware, you know, those that may be not practicing actively, they are really not aware that then we really miss Professor Peters. One of those days I was discussing with a colleague in the library. We picked up his uh, textbook and we were just sitting together on the table to read a uh, Unical Library those days. We just said, come on, a lecturer putting together when we are trying to struggle to go for field work of the Calabar flank and some of the basins in Nigeria, some other person has written on the geology, regional geology of Africa. This is the kind of book that you won't even see in the library or the student will borrow it off. In fact, it will be transmitted from one student to the other and the copies are not enough. So um, uh, I, I really want to condole with the family, the friends, the colleagues, the students, a lot of the loved ones that are there, we really miss Professor Peters. And I pray that God will give the family the fortitude, you know, to uh, bear this uh, irreparable loss. I can't, I can't just continue. I don't want to go into uh, all his achievements. A, a, a lot of things have been said already. But I would just uh, like to uh, stop at this point and say adieu, Professor Peters. Thank you very much. Can I make my comments now? Great, Prof, you are on now. Please go for it, Prof. Okay. Um, first of all, I'd like to apologize for coming late. I actually in Benin, I'm teaching at the COE and um, Unfortunately, uh, the lecture just flowed into five and past five. And um, I would have loved to use my laptop. I'm better used to Zooming with my laptop than telephone, but um, I hope you can hear me. Loud and clear, Prof. Uh, you're you're me. Yes, you're please, Prof. Yes, please, Prof. We can hear prof, you. Loud, okay. and, loud okay. and clear, Prof. Okay, my, my relationship with... Uh, SWP dates back to the 70s. Uh, I think I'm uh, probably one of the oldest uh, uh, to have known him. I, I was in the Baden. I was a, um, just an assistant lecturer in 1976, I think 76, when he came from ABU. Uh, Peter has had a lot of trouble, and uh, many people don't know it. Uh, he had a lot of problems from colleagues. In fact, uh, I think it's probably true to say that uh, he was really, he really came out from, uh, from Zaria in a, in a jiffy, not in a very pleasant way, but this is not the uh, uh, platform to talk more about it. But Peter has had a lot of obstacles from colleagues. And um, part of it, I think, is because of um, people misunderstanding. Uh, uh, Peters used to be quite abrasive, uh, but it's because of his conviction. Peters, once he's convinced about something, he really uh, doesn't go, uh, he doesn't bat an eyelid. And uh, in a way, I knew him even before the burden, because uh, uh, while he was in a quite Igbo Etinan uh, uh, school in the, in the uh, present uh, um, Ibom, I was in government college of Maya. Uh, we did higher school at the same time. And many people don't know that in our sets in 1966, Peters won the JFK uh, scholarship. Uh, he was the first throughout the whole country. And that will tell you uh, what stuff he was made of. That was why he got his scholarship to go to the US. So Peters was uh, just, I mean, uh, uh, a great man in terms of, uh, you know, uh, his intelligence, his uh, ability to grasp very, very difficult, uh, uh, you know, things and very complex things. And uh, 
and then uh, and then and then utilize them. He he he, uh, he was uh, I would say the one that uh, brought me into uh, work on the Bennett Law. And the way it happened, I think I need to say it because it's good to give him that uh, 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 that, that glory because uh, Peters, uh, I think in 76, 77, undertook a major regional um, uh, a regional uh, um, field work from the uh, Chad Basin to the Calabar flank. I will tell you the kind of man he is. I, and I, I, I did say my trip, which I wrote, that he basically did that single-handedly. I don't know of any geologists that worked with him. Maybe he has some assistants. But he came to my lab in, uh, in the Department of Chemistry and dropped for me a large number of samples. I don't remember the total number, but it was probably up to 200. And he said, look, Michael, let's, let's, let's look at this. And then I, got into, I was very, very interested because I really wanted to work with uh, somebody who had such a great interest, uh, you know, in a, in a, in a applying geochemistry geology, and uh, Peters was one person who had a lot of interest, who saw a lot of um, uh, you know mileage from from geochemistry, and so we went to town. We began to work on this, and then um, it was during that period that we stumbled into the rock Panther shell. And the Rock Panther Shale, um, some of you must have known about it. A lot of work has been done, but we started that work in the 70s. And then uh, we discovered that this was a extremely, very, very uh, carbonaceous uh, shale, which today we now know is um, where it's been mapped. Uh, it's part of the Ezaku Shale, even though some people still call it Ezaku. It's not just Ezaku, it's a very unique part. And then uh, this rock banter, you can trace it even to the, uh, 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 the, the Gulf of Guinea. And uh, even as far as, uh, you know, uh, very far away, I mean, equivalent even in the, in the US, Western Interior Seaway and so on. And uh, it was Peters that um, stimulated this work. And I worked closely with him. When he left Ibadan, I continued with my students and today, a lot is known about this particular part of the Bene Trough, from the Abakaliki, uh, you know, full belt, down to uh, uh, the, uh, the uh, Abeni Basin, down to the Calabar flank. He inspired it. So I really uh, want to say that Peters has done so much for Nigerian geology and African geology. And I think it's very, very important that he should he further recognized whatever it is that he leaded him while he was alive, I think should be given to him. Yes, he had a character that many people didn't like, but I think he was a real academic, an academic who stood for the truth and was prepared to, uh, you know, to stand his ground even when there were forces that were very, very, uh, uh, you know, opposed to him. I can say that for him, he stood for the truth. And uh, he was a character I'd really like to be with. I want to say, may God uh, grant his uh, uh, soul uh, eternal rest and console his family and the family of sophro geologists who uh, certainly have lost a great person in him who had such a deep insight and uh, such uh, an ability to uh, make interpretations that are uh, very, very uh, useful and very uh, helpful to people who are working in those areas. Thank you very much. Thank you, Prof. Uh, so now we would like to call on the first PhD student that Professor Peters took uh, in the person of Dr. Christopher Iwobi. Uh, Dr. Iwobi, over to you, please. I see that you can speak, uh, great. So let, let's hear you, Doc. Dr. Iwobi. Dr. Iwobi. 
All right, while we're waiting for him, I would I like us to also call. Uh, please, if we can chat with him on the sideline to be sure that uh, we can also assist if he has some technical issues. I'd like to call on Ayo Ekot. I called earlier. Uh, I don't know if you are still on the call. It's a good time for you to speak. Okay, just give me some. You need to unmute me. So please, you need to um, uh, you need to unmute uh Dr. Iwobi is on the call name or cell local Iwobi. Please unmute him. Is that done, Sunday? Please go ahead, uh, Doc. I think you're on now. Go ahead, Doctor Iwobi. Okay. Good evening. Can you hear me now? Yes. Yes, please. Okay. First of all, I'd Glad like. To... Okay. First of all, I'd like to use this opportunity to extend, extend my heartfelt sympathies to the family of the late Professor S.W. Peters from me and from my family. It was a great shock to us when we received the news of his passing. And we pray that God will console his family and grant them the fortitude to bear this loss. It is a rare privilege that I've been given to address this forum as we honor a great teacher, an outstanding geologist and a personal guide and mentor to me and so many others. We have heard throughout this evening about all the achievements that Professor Peters had. He had a very strong record of academic achievements leading to his appointment as the first professor of geology at Unical at the very young age of 36, barely six years after he completed his PhD. His arrival in Unical immediately raised the profile of the Department of Geology in the university. And this attracted so many postgraduate students from across Nigeria and from neighboring African countries such as the Cameroons. Many geoscience students took their first steps in the profession under his watchful guidance and support. I recall that it was Professor Peters that taught me how to differentiate between grains of sand and forearms under the microscope. So the very foundation that I had as an undergraduate that led me to select, uh, to choose micropaleontology as my area of specialization for my PhD was strongly influenced by Professor S.W. Peters. We have also seen that he supervised a large number of PhDs and so many MSc candidates during his time as Unic at Unical. And many of his former students have remained in the university system to continue passing on his legacy to the next generation. We have heard from Professor Essien today and Professor Anton, his former students, but also in the industry, there are so many highly successful professionals in the oil and gas industry, government agencies, and the private sector that we are students of Professor Peters, and we all owe him a debt of gratitude. I had the unique privilege of being his first PhD candidate in UNICAL, starting from 1984. And like I said, this choice was, governed, was uh, determined from my interactions with him as an undergraduate and my profound admiration 
for his outstanding record as an academic and the publications that I saw, his reputation, all these attracted me to study under him. Prof took very raw, inexperienced graduates like me, fresh out of university, not knowing our left from our right, and expanded our minds to explore the world of geological research and to question the known frontiers of geology. He taught us that the biggest room in the world was a room for improvement. We learned from him that nothing should be accepted without fully exploring all possibilities and that we should not be afraid of challenging the status quo. Professor Peters had an encyclopedic knowledge of all the sedimentary basins in Nigeria and had done field work in virtually every single basin in Nigeria. He regaled us with stories of his experiences during his many field trips to remote parts of Nigeria. His landmark publications have provided insights and they remain standard references for researchers on the geology of Africa and the geology of Nigeria in particular. We have indeed lost a giant of geology in Africa. Professor S.W. Peters will be a very tough act to follow. His legacy lives on in all those that he trained and launched into the world as geoscience professionals. However, I'm consoled by one fact that to my mind, geologists do not die and their memory does not fade away. They become one with the living and dynamic earth that they have spent so much of their lives studying. Professor Peters will be missed by all who knew him. And as we honor him today, we pray that God will console his family and grant them the strength to bear this great loss. Farewell, Prof, and rest in peace in the bosom of the Lord. Thank you very much. Thank you very much, Doctor. Thank you very much, Doc. And lastly, please, can we call on Mr. Edith? Doctor, sorry. Well, that dog, Professor, but at that, Henry, the floor is open for you. At that, Henry, you are on the list. Can you hear me? Go ahead, you can hear you. How do I clear? Yeah. Hello, Edet. Hello, Edet. Uh, he is actually talking. I think he has a static issue with his network. Uh, okay, while he comes back, let's yield the floor to Ayo Eckhart. I called. I called him or her earlier, but he's back now. Please uh, go ahead and share your tributes, please. You have permission to speak. Can you hear us, please, at your records? Uh, your hand is raised and you have permission to speak. Oh dear, I, this is this is purely net. I think I think he, he mutes himself. Is your mute? Oh, 
Uh, two so can we go to the next? All right, so uh, before we go to the next uh, part of our events, and we are drawing this to a close already, I would like to recognize the presence of Dr. Janet Peters. She's here with us on the call. I try to clean up. Doc, if you would like to turn your video on uh, briefly, if it's convenient, no pressures at all. I also like to recognize the presence of M.M. Peters. Uh, I think that's Professor Peters' son. He's also here, the doctor. Uh, I'd like to recognize your presence both uh, before we proceed to the next aspect of our event. If you would like to turn on your video, please, uh, I'd like to spotlight you briefly for everyone and members of our organization that are present here to see you. Would you like to do that, please? Ma'am. Okay, we'll, we'll wait for you uh, once you have the time before I then yield the floor to Dr. M. M. Peters, who will be speaking on behalf of the family and taking responses to all that we have said today. So we'll just give them some few minutes to come on here. While we are waiting for Dr. Uh, Peters, she is the daughter of uh, Professor Peters. I would like to acknowledge the presence of uh, Dr. Mrs. Jane Peters, uh, the widow of uh, Dr. Peters. Thank you, ma'am, for joining us. MM is uh, on the call now. Thank you very much. Oh, right. Sorry, MM, for some strange reasons, I thought you were his son. So my, my sincere apologies, no. please. Right. Thank um, you very much. Can I can I go ahead and say go something? Ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. Okay. Good evening, everyone. Good evening, good evening sirs. Good evening, the elders in the geological field. And good evening, everybody present. Permit me to stand. And on exist W. Peters. I want to start by saying a very few to NAPE and NGMS for deeming it to honor my father. We are, uh, we are, for me, it's quite emotional. For me, it's quite emotional hearing of all the good works of my father and And the legacy he left. How to say that he was the best father anyone could have. I still remember my classmates back then in secondary school, even up to now, people telling me that, you know, they envy the kind of father I had because my father was selfless. That's the truth. He was committed to his children and he ensured he gave us the best. And he trained us. And by the grace of God, he has he had four medical doctors amongst his children. He was very selfless, even as an adult that I am, married with children. My father was very caring, even to his death, he would, the little he had, he was always willing to share. My father was a giver, that's the truth. You all knew him on the academic aspect, but he was very homely, he was a giver, he was an example, he was exemplary, and he raised us up in the ways of the Lord. And um, I'm grateful to God because, yes, it's not like the philosopher Reza says, it's not in the length of years you have lived on earth. It is the impact you have been able to make while you are alive. And we can all attest to the fact that my father left his footprint on the sands of time. He has left his legacy. And it's up to us to continue from where he has stopped. And then we also see how we can contribute to make humanity better. His loss is a great one. I feel it. I feel it very much because I was close to my father. And in his dying moments, I was with him. And you know, the memories keep coming up, but I thank God because in all things I give God praise. His life may have been short, but we thank God it was impactful and meaningful. 
And this loss is felt by everyone. I still remember as little as just some weeks back, I went to the market after he died. The woman who used to sell supply my father with fish and crayfish, when I told her, she screamed and was crying and was like, we don't know why she's crying in the market that we are the children, but she as a stranger, she knows the impact my father had in her life, that this her business today, she can attest it to my father, the contributions my father made to it. So it's a great loss, but we thank God in all things. He has left his footprints and we ask God to give us the grace to continue from where he has stopped. And we crave that you include us in your prayers. And in the days ahead, we will have a memorial service and a memorial lecture in honor of my father. And I believe that will be communicated properly to everyone. So I want to say thank you very much. We are most honored. And I'm sure my father, wherever he is, is honored by this great act you have done for us. Thank you very much and God bless everyone. Thank you very much, Dr. M. You're welcome. Thank you so much. Um, I, I'd like to confirm if Dr. Mrs. Jane Peters is online and she would like to just come up here. I'd like to just spotlight her very briefly. Can you confirm that, please? All right, ma'am, whenever your video is turned on, that, that's also fine. Thank you, Dr. M.M. We are rounding up now, and uh, thank you so much for all your kind words. And I guess M.M. has rounded it up most appropriately by taking us away from even our society to the, to the everyday life of people who knew Prof beyond even our society. So I want to say thank you for joining us today and for honoring the great icon Professor S.W. Peters. Uh, thank you so much, ma'am. Yes, I'm going to spotlight you very, very, very briefly. So you are on now. Would you like to? Great. You are muted, ma'am. If you are speaking, you are muted. You are still muted, ma'am. Ma'am, you are muted. Can you unmute? I think she's trying to do that. Hello? Oh, we hear clear. you now, Mom. Okay, okay. Thank you so much. On behalf of the family of Doc, uh, I on behalf of the family, I, Dr. Mrs. Janet Peters, a wife of Professor S. W. Peters, wish to express our profound gratitude to the organizer, organizers of these night of tributes. Thank you, NAPE and NMGS for this great and touching honor to my beloved father and husband. Thank you, Dr. Patricia. Thank you, Dr. Ignatius. A night we as a family will ever live to remember. Thank you for giving us a sense of belonging. Remain grateful to all of you for standing by us at this moment of the demise of our father. I pray that the God Almighty bless all of you greatly for this show of love. Thank you for appreciating the immense contributions of our father and my husband, Professor S. W. Peters, to the academic world. It is indeed a colossal loss. He was a source of inspiration to all the children in the family and myself, and he was a great pillar to us. A vacuum has been created. NAPE and M NMGS. You have proved to the world today that an injury to one is an injury to all. And we ever live to remain grateful to you. Just like I said before, a vacuum has been created in the family. But we pray that the good Lord fill the gap and the good Lord also continue to make our father and husband to rest in peace. He is greatly missed. We loved him. And we ever live to miss him. Thank you so much for this honor that you have granted us today. We appreciate each and every one of you. And just like I said earlier, may the good Lord bless all of you for this show of love. Thank you so much. Dr. And Mrs. Janet S. W. Peters, the wife of late Professor S. W. Peters, a senior lecturer in the Department of Educational Foundations 
as a uh, counseling psychology, University of Calabar. Thank you. Thank you very much, ma'am. Thank you. You're welcome. Thank you, Thank you so much. Thank you. We appreciate you all. Thank you, Dr. Ignatius and Dr. Patricia. Just like my daughter Aurelia said, we are planning for a memorial service sometimes in November, and you will be posted on time concerning it. And I want to use this opportunity to invite each and every one of you to stand by us so that we give him a good memorial service come November. Thank you so much. Thank you very much, ma'am. Thank you very much. Unmute yourself. Thank you. Thank you. Tumo, so you are muted. I'm muted. Yes. No, no. Am I, am I muted still? Now, now. Yeah. Okay. No, no, you're, you're now like, oh dear. Oh my. I'm I'm super sorry. All right. So Prosper, over to you. Uh, thank you, ma'am, for for that vote of thanks, and thank you also, Doctor M. Uh, Prosper, over to you to round off with our vote of thanks. Oh. Yes, on behalf of uh, the Nigerian Mining and Joe Sciences. No, no, and, so, uh, Prosper, hold on. <laughs> the vote of thanks is to be taken by Dr. Godwin Alo. Uh, Dr. Godwin are, Alo. Um, yes. <laughs> <laughs> right. Okay, that's fine. Uh, good evening uh, to all of you. And um, we thank you for joining us uh, in this uh, great occasion. Um, I would like to sincerely thank the president mm -hmm. of NAPE. Uh, Dr. Patricia Ochobu. And, Sorry, I'm uh, not a doctor. I am Patricia Ochobu. Oh, Patricia Ochobu. Uh, you, you will be one one day. <laughs> okay. Congratulations. Congratulations. Uh, I would also like to appreciate the president of the NMGS, uh, Labo C.D. Charles, um, for putting together what we have today. It is a great thing of joy for exactly. all of us so, to have been uh, gathered here together for this. I uh, would also like to thank mm -hmm. sincerely the uh, Vice Chancellor of Aquaibom State University, Professor Nsesien, for under a very <laughs> short notice agreeing to be with us today and making such wonderful opening remarks. Uh, to all those that gave tribute, we appreciate you. We appreciate Dr. Matthew Fordile, uh, Professor C.S. Wajide, Dr. Maria Shunuga, Professor Sion Malomo. Uh, Professor Ebeli Dou, Professor Matthew Ntong, Professor Mike Oti, Dr. Harry Thomas, Dr. Solokai Wobi, and a whole lot of you that also sent in uh, chat messages of uh, condolences and appreciation for what uh, Professor S. W. Peters has done, not just for our profession in the geosciences and earth sciences, but for humanity. It uh, struck a lot of us that uh, he was not just writing for sciences, but writing even for the social life of people and for the emancipation of, of, of humanity. We appreciate him for that. Um, he wrote a lot in the newspapers. When I was looking through his profile, we saw that he had a lot of column in virtually all the newspapers. He was always writing voraciously. And we thank him and we emulate his life we are so happy that he has also left indelible marks on the sands of time. Thank you all for being here with us. Thank you all for participating actively in this uh, wonderful night of tribute. We appreciate you and we pray that the good Lord will grant his soul eternal rest. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Over to you, Tumbosun. Okay. Right. Thank you, Doc. You forgot to tell us that you are the General Secretary of NMGS uh, to Thank do you. us that honor. Thank you, Doc. Uh, so I'm going to just share briefly on behalf of the Uyo Kalaba chapter of NAPE. Uh, they have an event that is being planned to celebrate again and honor the life of Professor S.W. Peters. On the self 22nd uh, of September, they will be hosting a technical conference, uh, technical presentation or webinar, and it's going to be a virtual event. Please join us. The time is 11 a.m. 
and they are focused on talking about the hidden treasures of West African, West Central African rift basins of Nigeria and Niger Cretaceous petroleum resources systems as they have it there. It will be more like a reminiscence of Professor Peter's life and his work, especially focused on his work between 1978 and 1982. We implore that you please join us at this event and we look forward to having you. As uh, we draw the curtain to this event, we would like to take a closing prayer as we did uh, start the event with an opening prayer. And to lead us in this closing prayer is no other person than Dr. Ukwang a carry uh, of NMGS chapter. Dr. Okwang, the floor is yours, please. Dr. Okwang? No, 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 no. Dr. Okwang? Is he, is he on? I don't see him though. Yeah. I'm not, we have not seen him. Yes. I don't see him. Um, you can the... All right, so I'm going to pass this over again to Professor Estienne to do us the honors of closing this event for us. Uh, Prof, can you confirm that your network works, please? Okay, I'm not going to delay for that. Mrs. Don't Patrick, now show who F now, please close this event for us, please. Shall we pray? Okay. Almighty Father, we just want to thank you uh, because you are the author and you are the finisher of our faith. We thank you because you, you, you gave life and you choose when to take it. We thank you for the time that your son, Professor S.W. Peter, has spent amongst us. And we thank you for the impact that his life and being was to us. We pray, Lord, that you comfort his family, that you console all that mourn, and that you be with the, uh, Peter's family and with the uh, Nape family and with the NMGS family through these times and beyond. We pray, God, that everything that has been planned, every occasion that has been planned to honor the memory of your son, that the uh, events will come and they will go very smoothly. And we thank you for provision. We thank you for protection. We thank you because you are just a good God. And we praise your holy name. In Jesus' name, I have prayed. Amen. I also pray, Lord, that... Uh, as we go back to our lives, that you go with us and that you be with us all in your holy name. Amen. 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 Thank you very much. Thank you so much for joining us. That brings us to the end of this event and we look forward to seeing you join our other events and uh, celebrating with us the life of Professor Peters come September 22nd a technical presentation webinar that we'll be having in his honor. Thank you. Have a good evening. Thank, thank you, Nafe President. Thank you for organizing this with us. Continue to remain blessed. My God, thank you so much, sir. We really uh, appreciate, appreciate uh, your cooperation. Thank you, sir. What is Paul? We we'll do well. Thank you. Bye bye. Bye. Thank you. Hello. My, pre okay, my president. <laughs> yes. Thank you. Thank you. Take it's care. Okay. It's okay. It's okay. She's on. She's okay, muted. Yeah. Uh, bye. 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 Good. Okay, ma. Uh -huh. bye. Why are you? You're calling them out. Oh, no. <laughs>